for any transformation that we need in our Christian life. Because once you are saved, it's not the end. Praise the Lord. You know, there's a lot of tears that once they're saved forever, it's not like that. Praise the Lord. When we become saved, we come into touch with the light. Praise the Lord. That means we are now in contact with the light that can transform us. So there is nothing like, oh, I'm saved, I believe in Jesus Christ, that's the end of it. No, it's a continuous transformation by the light. And the extent to which we are transformed, the extent to which we are changed, the extent to which we are perfected in Christ is the extent to which we are exposed to the true light. Without the true light, you might feel like I've been saved, but nothing is changing. What brings transformation as Christians is the power of the light we encounter. Praise the Lord. So it's not so much about how long have I been in Christ, how many years have I been in Christ. It's so much about how much of the light, of the true light, have I exposed myself to. Amen. How much of the true light of the word of God have I exposed myself? You know, there is so much power in exposing ourselves to the true light. Praise the Lord. And that is what, you know, I like where it says, the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. You see, when we come to Christ, what Christ does is that he gives us himself. He becomes the light in our lives and he's confronting darkness in our minds. He's confronting darkness in our souls. 